piano game I'm working on will use MIDI to read notes from a USB keyboard, um, playback via a MIDI sequencer, and also output MIDI data. I've been playing with MIDI and Unity for a few months now, so I feel like I'm quite qualified to produce this comparison video. After last week's video I made on the Unity um, UI frameworks, some people said it was too long, so this one's gonna be much shorter, so let me know if you prefer this format. MIDI Jack is a no frills free plugin available on GitHub. All it does is capture MIDI input from a MIDI controller such as a keyboard, but it does allow you to use that data to then control game objects in your Unity scene. It didn't take me long to hook it up uh, in Unity to my MIDI controller keyboard and I was able to register key presses or note on events in the built in um, event screen. There's not a lot more um, to it than that, but if you're just looking for something quick and simple to start registering MIDI input, this is a really good bet. If you're looking for a more fully featured sequencer, then keep listening because I'll review some of those as well. Another free Unity plugin available on GitHub is C Sharp Synth. Again, this is pretty bare bones. It's just a MIDI sequencer, but it also has a MIDI synthesizer to play sounds with. It plays MIDI files back very well, but if you want to do things like pause or skip to a certain point in the MIDI track that you've loaded, you're going to want to invest a little bit more money on the asset store unless you're willing to invest a lot of time in developing that, hacking the code apart and making it yourself. MIDI Toolkit Pro is the first paid asset that I'm going to review. I've been using it for about three or four months now, so I've got a pretty good idea of how it works. It was all going great until I realized that the MIDI file reading accuracy isn't quite up to scratch. It will play a piece fine but as soon as you speed it up or you play a piece which has lots of notes or lots of uh, very rhythmic notes then you'll notice that the gaps between the notes aren't quite correct and it plays some notes faster and some notes slower than it should basically the sequencer isn't 100 accurate so it will play slightly out of time the support is very good on the other hand i had a long chat on email with thierry the developer for this plugin and he worked really hard to improve the timing uh, issue but it's still not 100 there it's disappointing because this plugin is a reasonable price and it, use, it has a lot of the features I wanted. You're able to pause, skip ahead in time, and it's got a good uh, editor interface. However, it doesn't have any MIDI input or output capabilities, but I found that you could use this plugin in combination with MIDI Jack and that would handle your MIDI inputs. I understand that Thierry is working on a fix for the timing issue, so I suggest you check back in the future to see if that's been fixed and uploaded to the asset store. Audio Helm is a great choice for generative music. So if your music adapts during gameplay or is created during gameplay, then you should definitely have a look at this one. It allows you to synchronize different layers, different samples, um, and link them together via the built-in MIDI clock. There are also some really cool physics-based music examples which are included in the package. I really liked the ease of use of this one. You could easily load up a MIDI file very quickly. You could view it in the editor and see the, the note lengths and the velocities, but it wasn't that easy to pause a MIDI file. And if you wanted to seek ahead to a specific point, you had to build your own function and hack the code a little bit. But again, if that's not an issue for you, then please check out Audio Helm. The final one I tried was MIDI Unified. Um, and this seems to polarize people on the asset store reviews. I think the main reason for this is that it's just completely unsupported. I mean completely unsupported. There's no documentation. The developers do not respond to your emails. And for 90 euros, that's not really acceptable in my opinion. You would expect a much higher level of support for that price. Having said that, after a couple of hours of playing around, I was able to get it working and it does have a lot of features already built in. It has MIDI input, MIDI output, and pre-built prefabs for changing those in-game, which is very useful. It has play, stop, pause, seek ahead in the MIDI file, seek back, all of that's built in and very easily accessible, and it does claim to work across most platforms. I've not checked that myself yet, but that's their claim. In summary, from my perspective, MIDI Unified is the most fully featured um, but I do feel like I'm taking a big risk by going down this path considering it's completely unsupported. I'm going to go ahead and use it and fingers crossed I don't end up massively regretting this decision. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to keep up with my music game development videos and I'll see you on the next one.